how much force you can place on the muscle, right? Force, not weight, not pressure, force. What does that mean? This is a water bottle. When it is full, it weighs about eight pounds. Gravity is pulling eight pounds worth of force against you know, this bottle. So I am having to apply eight pounds of force against it or, or more, depending on how fast I want to go, right? Um, so speed times mass, you know, acceleration, so more power, but we'll get into that next. So that's what people think about strength. They're like, how heavy can I pull against gravity constantly? But that's just weight, right? Weight is only one way that we cover that. And what makes us incredible at RX Fit, yes, I said incredible, and I mean it, is that we're thinking about force. What are other ways to apply force? There are, obviously I'm holding a band, so of course I'm gonna say band, you know me. Same thing, I just did a curl there. Now I'm applying whatever this band's force, right? Because now we're getting into the like, kind of uh, ambiguous amount of force because it's a band, we can't really, it's hard to measure. So most of our trainers have to feel that out, like what's the proper amount of force for a client. But you'll grab a band like this and then you'll apply, see? And the further I get away, this is what is really fascinating, it's why I love bands. The further I get away from my foot, the harder it gets, right? So the force intensifies with the range, right? So that's a unique way to apply force. You have a TRX system, which is essentially just a rope system that you hold onto and you would like lean back. And if we were still applying the same example of a bicep curl, you would lean back on that TRX, you're gonna hold, you lean, and you pull yourself towards the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the attachment point where the beginning lever starts, right? So I'll be pulling myself. Uh, there are angles that you can use to apply. So if I just use the same thing with the TRX here and I pull, how hard is it? Is it easier or harder if I lean further back, closer to the ground and pull myself? Obviously far more difficult because even at an angle, now I'm pulling more of my own body weight, right? Uh, it's the same thing with push-ups. Now imagine a push-up. You do a push-up on the ground, flat, right? And I do a push-up on this table here. And I do a push-up on a counter, which is like up here. Which one's the easiest? The countertop, right? Because I don't have to push up against my own body weight as much. So we have to think about force constantly at RX Fit because we do travel to people's homes. We're like, all right, what do you have available? Besides what we brought, we bring two RX bands, that kind of the basics. And like, what do you have? And how do we apply force? That's the word we think about force, not weight or gravity, right? Because it's easy. We don't expect everyone to own every single weight of dumbbell, every single weight of kettlebell, and then a barbell and a stack of plates, right? We just want something that applies force. So think about that. When you think about strength, think about how can you apply force to that area, right? And then, in a safe environment. Because now that you're applying force, you're actually intentionally causing tissue to tear. So now we're getting into the, the, kind of the nuance of fitness. With mobility and stability, very advanced understandings in that world, but we're not actually torn anything just yet, right? We're kind of uh, forcing the muscle open with mobility in the, in the fascia. And in, in stability, we're working on neuromuscular, which is inflammation. And then now we're working on tearing, right? Now we're working on damage. Now we're working on why you burn so much energy doing working out because you're tearing tissue and asking the body to, hey dude, fix this and use whatever you need in the body that exists to fix that area, like fat, right? Or protein, I'm sorry, not protein, uh, carbohydrates, which are both energy sources. So on that note, with strength, think about force. So when you do the 12 week program, remember the exercise we're going through, what you need to do in order to increase the amount of force as you get better at the movement, your technique is improved, how do you apply more force? You don't have to add weight if you don't have weight. You don't have to apply force. Bands, TRX, or your angle. All right, hope that helps. Thanks.